In this video, I'll introduce you to layers in Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so on the rightmost toolbar, locate the Layers button and click it. And this shows us the layers if we had a document open. We don't, so let's go ahead and open a document. File, Open, and I'll select this JPEG image and click Open. Now, when I opened it, notice how a layer appeared, and it's called Background. That's the default bottommost layer in a Photoshop document. There's a padlock next to it, which indicates that the, the layer is partially locked. And by partially, I mean there are certain things you can't do to it, and there are other things that you can do to it. You can't change the opacity and fill, but you can draw on it. So I'll go ahead and just choose the eraser and see that we can draw on it. I'll go ahead and control Z to erase that. Now, the background layer can be changed and made more useful in terms of its ability to do things like add opacity and fill, for instance, by double-clicking on the layer. If you double-click on the layer, you can change the name. Now, notice how the name is no longer background. It says Layer 0. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now it's changed to Layer 0, and that padlock is uh, gone. And that means that we can actually do things like change the opacity of this uh, particular layer. So the default layer is called background. It's partially locked, but you can change the na name of it, and then you can start playing around with it and doing things that you couldn't normally do if it was the partially locked background layer. Now, there are different types of layers in Photoshop. So for instance, I'll go ahead and click on the Type tool, click here, and note how we've added a layer, a text layer, tell because it's got that T there, called Layer 1. I'll type in some text and click on the Move tool. Just space that a little bit better. Maybe change the uh, style. So if I double click on the T, I can change that text, the style, the size, and other attributes of it, including the color. So I'll click on this little curvy arrow down here and change the color to white. Not much better, but you get the idea. Now, the thing about layers is you can have many, many layers, and you often will when you're working with Photoshop documents. And the way layers work is you draw on the layer that's selected. Now, right now, we have our trolleys layer. And if I tried to draw right now with a paintbrush, say, notice how that uh, cursor is a, a circle with the strike through it. That means you can't draw on this layer because it's a text layer. But let's go ahead and click here and add new layer. Now you can use shift control N if you prefer the keyboard. And Photoshop will automatically give it a name layer one. So it'll automatically number the layers for you, but I can call it something else. So I'll call this uh, drawing layer and click okay. Now note how we have the drawing layer now and that there's an empty thumbnail because there's nothing on that layer yet. Here we have the little thumbnail of our trolleys and here we have the T for text. There's nothing on there yet, but if I uh, try to use that paintbrush now, I can because I've selected this layer. If I click over to trolleys and try to draw again, we'll get that circle with the strike through it. So just keep that in mind that that you can draw on certain layers and other layers you can't. And you draw on the layer that you've got selected. Now, notice how I drew on that layer. You know, not really very interesting, uh, something that uh, I shouldn't have done. Now, I could undo that, but I can also turn layers on and off. So this eyeball right next to the layer indicates the visibility. I'll go ahead and click that. And notice how I've turned off that drawing layer. And so anything I draw on that layer, I'll go ahead and turn it back on again, maybe choose a different color, uh, and maybe modify that brush to make it a lot bigger, and then draw. Again, anytime I turn that off, I'm going to turn that layer off, just the visibility of it. You can't see it, but it's still there. I'll go ahead and turn it back on. So the nice thing about layers in Photoshop is the ability to put certain things in certain places and be able to access them, modify them, add effects and whatnot, just simply by drawing on that layer. Now, I could select everything on this particular layer with Control-A and press Delete, and now everything I've drawn on that layer is gone. Now, what I might want to do is uh, just deselect that with Control D, choose the marquee tool, the rectangular marquee, click and drag and draw a marquee, and I'm going to reset the color values here 
by clicking on this little icon right there. And we've changed the foreground and background back to black and white. Now I can fill that marquee with Alt Backspace. And I filled it with black now. And I can fill it with the background color with Control Backspace. And I've drawn on that particular layer. Again, I'll go ahead and turn it off just to show you that we haven't drawn anything on anything else on the image, just that particular layer. Now, the nice thing about that is I can modify certain aspects or properties of this particular layer, like the opacity. And I'll click on the opacity and then slide that down, say, there. And you can create that nice effect. Now I've made it semi-transparent. It's 57% opacity. And uh, anything on that layer, anything that was drawn on that layer is going to become uh, semi-transparent. So you can create some really nice effects without changing the original image. I'll go ahead and show you. I'll turn these two off. And there's our original image. It's still there. We haven't made any changes to it, but we can add things using layers quite easily in Photoshop and get different effects. And this gives you the ability of not only creating different effects, but making changes on the fly without worrying about altering or damaging your original image.